So I want to welcome you guys back to more Death Stranding. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, I'm chilling right here next to my dog in an empty house. <laughs> About to be traveling a lot. So uh, thank you guys for all the support. It really means a lot to me. This game has been spectacular and I'm really just enjoying the, uh, the story more than anything. The gameplay has always just, you know, been great, but I felt like the actual story cutscenes, the involvement, the way it's shot with different episodes, you know, you get fragile for one episode, and then the episode five, which is the one we're currently on, is all about mama. So it's, uh, it's cool. Uh, but anyways, I love you guys. About to start it up. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would figure that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network, or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. Alright, enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Chiral Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingen's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochna around. Which would be great because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. Find a way to change... Lockney's mind. Hmm. Wait, what? It's like nothing I can do here. Uh... I can't enter a private room. What? I got too much stuff on me for this now. Hold on. I have oh. a feeling once I leave this... Oh, man. I feel like once I leave this area, it's going to be bad news bears. I got way too much stuff on me. Can I not drop some of this stuff? I need to recharge my suit. I need to sleep. Oh, boy. Guys, if I get out here and get destroyed, have a this journey. is going to be bad. Okay, no cutscene or nothing. I'll take it. Hmm. Uh.
So my thinking is I have to go all the way back. I w the here's what's killing me though. I thought maybe I'd have to go back and talk to Mama at her place, but my only problem is I can't private room fragile jump. Let me check here one more time. Thing in online, All like clear. for real though. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Hold on. I'm curious about something. Private locker, uh, in storage. I have all this stuff. I I don't know what to do here. I here's what I can do. Since I can fragile jump between this stuff, I'm gonna put some of these in here. Uh, blood bag. We're good. Yeah, I wanted to like replenish all my stuff. I can't even like fabricate things, which kind of sucks, honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna just do like the one thing. <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything with it. Yeah, that's crazy. So I thought he, I thought I was supposed to like talk to Mama, but that's so far away without a bike or anything. All right, guys, so here's what you have to do here. I was just making sure I wasn't crazy. Uh, and it looks like we need to go, like, it does say go talk to Mama. We can fast travel there. But the problem is, uh, this area is not online. I think it's under Mel. Let's see. Would you speak to Mama for me? Uh, could you go talk to Mama? I've been, uh, feeling they could patch up things, started speaking to each other again. Okay, yeah. I may or may not show me getting there. Because that is kind of a long way to go. Um... Man, that's insane. They're gonna have me go that far, you know. I'm just gonna look around the map for a minute. I'm just kind of curious what's all on here. We got cargo for Sam present, fragile jump possible. The closest thing I can think of, guys, honestly, is this. Because it actually, yeah, it fragile jumps possible there too. Man. Yeah, her her lab is down here. That's why I'm not really sure. Maybe they want me to just go straight there. Actually, this might be the best. Hold on. Forget that other area. This is actually on the way. So we go there, and then if we want to, we can go there. Or we can do something else. Yeah, I don't know. I might not show the whole trip of me getting there, but I want to get back and talk to Mama and see what happens. I can't craft a bike or anything. That's, oh, it's gonna be bad. I guess what I could do is... Oh, man. Drop this and just put all my stuff on it like I did before. That way I can... What if I just, like, put everything on here? Now where I'm just completely empty, just about. There's no way I fall over. Uh, I can just like run as fast as I want. Let's get a move on. I just have to be careful, you know. But yeah, with nothing on me, I should be able to just like run for it. Uh, my only problem is. I don't think I'd have to get past these mountains over here. And I just don't know if that's the best way to do it. I, I kind of want to go back where it's green, but I know that if I do that, oh, it's going to be bad. Yeah, we got to get over this mountain. But once I get over the mountain, it looks like it's just, you know, home free, zip lining back. You can get back to my own zip lines. Well, here goes nothing. The good news is, I don't have to worry about my suit or anything kind of deteriorating anymore because I don't have any cargo, really. I got the blood pouches and stuff. Kind of weird seeing this stuff here. I don't know, they talked about it during the, the cutscene and all that. My only concern about this snow is... Like, does it affect BB? I don't, I don't know anything. There was a way to bring this stuff online. This is gonna be brutal. I have a feeling. Let's see what it does when I first step in it. Oh my god. This is gonna be rough. 
Well, <laughs> I mean, there's no way around it. I could go back and fast travel. That's about all I can think to do, but I'd be going back to BT country. Yeah, it's fine. My suit's going to go away. Uh, man, this is rough. I really don't want to do this. Ceramics. I don't want to pick anything else up. I want to get out of snow. Snow is probably the slowest you're going to be in the entire game. My suit's going to go. So that's good. Yeah, this is just going to take a while. The, the most optimal way to do it is probably not going this route. I would say going back the other way and then doing it, you know? You can fast travel over there, you're good. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just going to cut, man. This is, this is going to take me forever. This might take 20 or 30 minutes just for me to get there, and I don't want to bore you guys with that the entire video. Give me one second. All right, guys, uh, I just rested up right here. Here's where I've gotten uh, the path, as you can see. I went there and then came here. Uh, it's just been a very, very long journey. My goal right now, here's, we're going to get back over there. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to, like, right here, maybe. And then I'm going to put a zip line down, and then we're just going to go there. Um... But yeah, thank you guys all support and everything, man. It has been a long journey. The snow, I even ran into snow time fall, which is even more extreme than just like normal time fall. So, check how far you can jump when you're, you don't have any weight on you. It's kind of amazing. Now, once I get to the way marker, or the way point, I mean. What how far, so that's still 500 away. Yeah, we gotta get a lot closer. We got one more thing to run across, and it's right here. <laughs> I don't know why I like jumping so much. Let's get moving. Look how fast you run when you're like... Not having to worry about anything. Oh boy. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, this is the spot I marked. Is that really there? It's still kind of far away. Where the nearest zip line is, it's, that would probably be it, right? <sighs> Sorry, BB. Just relax. I gotta see something really quick. Out of range. Okay, it shows you where they are. Oh, this is that area. Okay. Yeah, what I can do. Hold on. It's gonna hurt. That's fine. That can take a little beating. Let the baby just remain calm. We're about to be at the main spot, so we're fine. I can put all this stuff on my back. Pretty sure. And then just zip line to victory. Because I put all these here early on. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, no, no. Ooh, be careful, Brad. Is that far enough away, you wonder? 210. That is an obstacle. What will be the obstacle? Well, that goes there. Let's just do that one. Load up and get the hell out of here. This is a long journey, man. Let me tell you, that snow, if I have to cross snow again, it's going to be a bad time. I'm just being straight up. It was awful. <laughs> I've been fine with everything in this game, but man, that was a little much. I'm so glad I put all this stuff here. I think this is the online one. I don't know if I put this one here. I'm glad I did this early on, though. I'll say that much right now. I'll see if this is mine, if this is the online one that Mama put. 
Wow. The fact that I put this here and it now helps me later on in the game, that is amazing. Doesn't matter now, we're almost back. Let's get it. Whew. All right, we uh, finally made it after a long drag. I actually just stopped recording. We're good here. I stopped recording and just like, I'm just gonna run. Through. Let me heal. Oh yeah, let me charge up really quick. That charge station is so nice. And then this will also repair all my stuff since it's raining. It's permanently raining right here. I don't know why. All right, let's get moving. But we got to cut scene with Mama. I don't know. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void off. But, just as Deadman theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So, I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm and I carried it to term. 
a healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. Please, Sam. Do it. Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth, the light. Touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Man, this is gonna be extremely difficult. Uh, that is a, first off, that's a long ways away. Oh my God. Is that saying go back through the mountains I just came through? I could zip line a good bit up till about there. Yeah, uh, if I had placed one right there, I probably could get all the way back here, which would cut it. Uh, it's a little less than halfway there. First things first of all, I need to put all this stuff uh, in my post. <laughs> I'll probably stop here in a minute. I just wanted to just, uh, man, I got to store all this stuff. I don't know, like, you can't, you're very limited. My guess is what I'll do is go through everything, put a lot of this stuff up, and then when we come back next time, I'll be transporting her. I didn't know that we're going to have to be going back the same when we left. Oh, that's gonna be brutal. Zip lining is gonna save me a lot of time. Going back over through the snow, not too bad. I don't think this will be as bad as I'm hoping, uh, or as I'm hoping it's not going to be. Uh, this part right here should be pretty easy. 
God, and then getting this part right here is what I'm worried about. All right in here. I could go back down there. I think my biggest concern is just the stamina on the snow. Man, this is going to be tough. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much all support. If you want more of this game quickly, uh, just keep destroying that like button. I'm trying to make these videos a little bit longer as well when I do post, uh, even if I miss a day here and there. Uh, all right. I love you all. Take it easy.